What is up, guys? Welcome to another Behind the Curve Reacts. As always, if you enjoy the kind of content I'm putting out, feel free to like, comment, subscribe down below, share with your friends, all that good stuff. But today we have got something a little bit different. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at a Saturday Night Live sketch. Uh, and I know SNL, like the current cast, gets a lot of hate. I personally don't understand why. Uh, there are some people that are currently on it and have been on it in the last five years or so that I have really, really liked. Uh, especially like Taron Killam. That guy is so funny. Uh, but this is going to be Lil Rent. Uh, I've heard about this. I have not seen it. Uh, apparently it's like, uh, uh, like a children's theater or something like that putting on the musical Rent. Uh, and if you guys don't know what Rent is about, first off, you should totally watch it. Uh, but secondly, it's all about like AIDS. <laughs> um, so I don't know exactly how they are going to uh, work with that with a children's uh, theater. I'm assuming that's just the whole basis of it, how absolutely ridiculous it will be. Uh, but it actually reminds me, back when I was in high school, we were supposed to be putting on the show No Exit. And it's essentially about a bunch of people that are in, you know, one room and they're essentially in hell. And, but they don't really know it. Um, it's a, a crazy show. They eventually put it on at my college. Uh, but my high school, they announced it, and then, like, the PTA and the parents found out the subject matter, and then we just weren't allowed to do it anymore. Like, the audition sheets were just all of a sudden missing, and that was always a real disappointment. Um, so this kind of reminds me of that. Uh, but either way, I am really excited. So let's go ahead and get into it. Welcome back to Wake Up Denver's Early Bird Hour. I'm Sam Dockman. Our field correspondent, Janet Veet is at the Youth Theatre Works Playhouse in downtown Denver, where a big show is in the works. Janet, what's going on? Well, Sam, I'm here at rehearsal with some of Denver's most talented young thespians. Oh, thespians rhymes with lesbians. Hubba hubba. <laughs> oh I don't like God. that. Take them off the split screen. <laughs> the cast of Denver Youth Theatre Works' annual spring musical is hard at work on their new show, and there's about 525,600 reasons to see Lil Rent, which oh opens Thursday. I'm joined now by the very busy director, Lowell Dubbins. Oh, hi, sorry. It is a madhouse. Hello, we're in the middle of Hell Week, which is living up to its name. Lowell, so tell us about the show. All right, uh, Lil Rent is an abridged, family-friendly version of the hit musical about New York oh. City artists living through the HIV AIDS crisis of the late 80s. Now, and how does Lil Rent handle the no. intense HIV AIDS subject matter with a cast of children? Right, uh, and Lil Rent, HIV AIDS is changed to diabetes. And uh, what? it really doesn't change things at all. Really? It's just that in the original HIV AIDS is like, that's what Rent's about, you know, characters die from it. So how did you go about changing the original script? Well, I used the find and replace feature in Microsoft Word and replaced oh, HIV AIDS no. with diabetes. Okay. And I honestly think it's more powerful this way. Well, oh I, my God. I don't know about that, but yeah. um, let's meet some of the cast here. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is the brilliant Sean Kessler, who plays Mark. And you may have seen him in Last Falls, Lil Equus. It is oh my Nathan God. Benson, who plays Roger. My goodness. So, I, okay, I understand you're going to be doing a little mm -hmm. scene for us. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, this is a scene from Act One, where my character is singing about his friend Roger, who is diabetes positive. <laughs> oh, and God. in the late 80s, when the show takes place, diabetes was this new sexually transmitted disease that people <laughs> didn't know a lot about. It was scary. Yeah. Oh, God. Back then, Diabetes was basically a death sentence. Oh, well, yes. it wasn't, but go ahead. Oh, 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 no. They say diabetes is a gay disease, but Roger got diabetes from having sex with his girlfriend. <laughs> Close on Roger, whose girlfriend left him a note saying, we've got diabetes before slitting her wrists in the bathroom. Oh, my God. Take your insulin, Roger. Take your insulin. Okay, well, let's meet more of the cast. Yes. Oh, no. This 
is Amy Merriweather Sherman, another <laughs> rising star. She's incredibly talented and fiercely conservative. <laughs> yeah, hello, my name is Amy Merriweather Sherman, and I am this many years old. My favorite political party is the Republicans, and my favorite book is Liar and Cheat, How Obama Killed the Middle Class, oh and God. also A Billion Bedillion Goes Camping. <laughs> okay, wow, a lot to take in there. Who are you playing? Well, ma'am, I play Mimi Vasquez. She's oh, a no. Puerto Rican stripper and a heroin addict. Oh, no. Who got diabetes from sharing an infected heroin needle. All right, remember, <laughs> we say dancer, not stripper. Oh, she takes her clothes off. Okay. Uh, tell them about, uh, <laughs> tell them about your Spanish, your Spanish. Oh, yes, okay. So, ma'am, I learned some Spanish to play Mimi because she only speaks Spanish and I only speak white. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> The way you say diabetes in Spanish is diabetes. Oh, right. Well, how about we get to that song? Yes, Amy will be performing an excerpt from her big solo out tonight. This song is about my character is horny and she wants to go find someone else. Oh, oh my God. Let's go. Thank you, Amy. You want to see the rest? I'll have to buy a ticket. Lock her up. Lock no, don't her up. Stop doing that. Oh, God. That's for home. That's for home. It's all right. That is for home. We've got a cast of talented kids here. Lil Red <laughs> opens Thursday, and you can buy tickets online now for $175. My God. Do you think that's too much? Yeah. We'll be right back. So. I bet. I bet. Oh, my God. <laughs> That, that was horrifying. That was so bad. <laughs> oh my god, let's let's just go ahead and get big. Okay, so we all know that art has like a base in reality. Has this actually happened? Ha have like schools or community theaters actually tried to put on a family friendly AIDS list version of rent? Because that sounds absolutely bonkers. I don't know how you would actually do that, uh, which makes me believe that this is just something that SNL made up. But if this actually is based in reality and it's on YouTube, please somebody link me to a family friendly performance of Rent. I would love to watch it and just shudder through the entire fucking thing. And then using the Microsoft Word find and replace feature to only switch out HIV and AIDS for diabetes and changing literally nothing else is, oh my God. Oh yeah, no, we got diabetes from sharing a heroin needle. Oh my God. This... Uh, I don't even know what to say. And a little Equus. Oh my God, that is not okay. That is not an okay thing to do. Uh, seriously, like this entire thing was so funny and so damn cringy. I don't even know what to think. I, oh my God, I wonder like what somebody would think of this having never seen Rent before, uh, having only ever seen Lil Rent. I, yeah, I would love to know what they thought, but I, God, I don't even really know what I thought. Oh no. Oh yeah, he's diabetes positive. Yeah, I got a note from his ex-girlfriend that said we both have diabetes before she slid her wrists in the bathtub. Oh my God. I, mean, I know this is fake, but just like thinking that this could possibly happen in real life is just blowing my fucking mind. And I don't know why Mimi was like the big six-year-old Republican. Uh, I, I only speak white. Fucking what? What? What am I seeing here? This, uh, oh my god, I, I am almost like uh, at a loss of her words from what I just fucking saw here. Uh, but I will say though, the joke at the end, $175 for tickets, that does sound pretty high, but you gotta think, how much would the rights to rent be to perform? I mean, he might have to sell out, you know, 
two weeks worth of shows at a buck seventy five a pop just to recoup that. So I mean, I guess I could see him charging that much. Uh, will anybody pay it? Obviously not. Uh, but this was this was great. If anybody else knows of any other like musical themed SNL skits. I would love to take a look at them. Uh, aside from any of the uh, John Mulaney ones, like uh, Diner Lobster and Bodega Cat, I have obviously seen those. They are so good. They're so well done. But this was, God, this was just, this was a five minute cringe fest. <laughs> Oh, God. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please let me know what you thought down in the comments. Uh, otherwise, I will see you all in a reaction very soon.